Okay. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining AutoCAD Plan 3D in minutes. In the last video, we learned how to create this structure using Plan 3D. For today's topic, we will learn on how to create Plan 3D. First thing first, I would like to link this structure to my equipment drawing. To create a new equipment drawing, just go, go on the list, left side, right click, click on new drawing. So in this case, I just want to type the equipment drawing, which is EQ001. Hit OK. Since my equipment need to have the structural as a reference, I need to use XREF or external reference to link between these two files. XREF for external reference. Go to here, attach the drawing. So in this case, we will need to look for our file. So go to this drawing, area one, and should be under, okay, let me double check. So go to here. look for your structure drawing directly so you can set either you want to do the scale for your structure or you want to change the insert point so in this case i just leave it everything at the default setting hit ok to create an equipment so they will have two things that we need to do the first one when you go to this home tab go on the middle area of your panel you will see this list of buttons. The first button will be on how to create a new equipment by using 3D shape in Plan 3D. While for the second button, this one is more focused on after you create the equipment, you plan to edit the equipment. For the third one, if you have a step file, Okay, for the blue color, if you have the step file or you have a 3D AutoCAD block, then you plan to convert it to equipment, you need to use this button. While for these two buttons is to attach and detach object to your equipment. Okay, and then the last one will be you want to convert from inventor. In this video, we will cover on the red and yellow only. So let's go, let's jump to how to create equipment. So first step, I just need to click on this create. You will see one pop up something like this. You are able to change the type of your equipment. For the first case, I want to go to create centrifugal pump. Go to here, centrifugal pump. For something that don't have the shape, don't have the customized shape, you just need to change the dimension in here. So whenever that you click, it will bring you to exactly the location of the dimension. In case this one is already done, I are happy with this setting. Just click create and put at the bottom area here. Normally, when we insert the equipment, we need to study on the nozzle size. So to change the nozzle size for this pump, you just need to click and then click on this pencil icon. First thing first, you need to make sure that your setting are followed correctly with your spec. So in this case, I want to use four inch, for example, I just want to change to six inch nominal diameter, okay, with a pressure class 300. So when I click on this one, this one is specified for, this one is state for six inch nominal diameter, raised space with a 300 pressure class. So I just can double click, make sure that this top area already changed and hit close. It will automatically change in here. 
So for example, I want to change more. I just need to click here and change to a bigger size, which is 12 inch. So just the same one. Okay, 10 inch, 10, 10 inch of should be nice. Hit close. To create a pipe, you will face this kind of problem if you are not using the correct pipe, the correct spec. So make sure that since your nozzle are setting to have a 300 pressure glass, make sure that you are using also the 300 pressure glass, which is this one, SS300. When you use the proper spec, it will can directly generate auto flange. If you are using the uh, different spec, okay, means you use a different pressure glass or different nominal diameter, then you will face that kind of problem. To create another equipment, I will click on this create equipment again. So in this second case, I want to make a tank or maybe I just want to make a heat exchanger, reboiler. So when I click reboiler, it will give you me something like this. Okay, in this case, I just want directly to insert the reboiler pre-default setting. This will be the result. So how to create this kind of shape by using Plant 3D? So first step, you can go to this create. In case you already change this setting, and then all this, the value already changed, you need to redo it again. So for example, I want to make it the horizontal heat exchanger. Okay, so I go to here, horizontal heat exchanger. In this first case, I just need to make sure that I follow the sequence. The first one, they are using this spherical head. So I just need to click add shape, click on this topo spherical head. This will be my first shape. For the second one, I want to have a cylinder. So just go to add shape again, type tick on the cylinder. The third one will be cone. So just look for a cone. This will be the third cone. Okay, and for the fourth, fourth one will be the cylinder. I just need to go to add shape again and click cylinder. So in this case, they will have a flanges. So for example, I want to insert the flanges at the starting of my cylinder and the end of my cylinder. So just go to here at trim. You will see that they will have option for to insert a body flange. Okay, this will be my body flange. So make sure that your value of your body flange is bigger than the cylinder value, the cylinder diameter. Okay, so I just need to hit create and insert. This will be exact, uh, approximately the shape. So in this case, I want to change the cone size. So because I have create cone, but they don't have the proper size of my cone. So just go to here, go to this one, click on the cone. So as you can see here, the D1 and D2 will be the same. So you just can go to this area and change the value of the D and your cone will be updated when you hit apply. Okay, already become something like this. The difference between pump that already predefined shape and something that we can custom the shape is the nozzle. For the nozzle, for this item, you cannot directly edit. If you plan to edit, you just need to press hold and click on the nozzle. Then you will see the pencil icon. Okay, in this case, the nozzle you can put at any location. To change the location, go to this change location, key in the value. So in this case, I want to make it put here. I can change the value to 180. Okay, it will go directly to here. And if I plan to change the distance of length, so I can go to here, uh, or this height, I just can change here. 800. That will be the difference on how to change the nozzle if you are using the predefined shape like pump or a tank. So to create a new nozzle, you can go to this first object and hit this new nozzle, add nozzle. 
So by default, this nozzle will be as radial. So in case I want to insert as top or bottom, I can change to top. So this will be the location of top area. And then also can change the A angle, the A and R value, and together with the length. So that's how we work with equipment. So don't forget to join our uh, FOC again. So for next week, we will have the customized equipment. So see you next week. Bye-bye.